Good day, it's Pete here and I'm back again for another Funbridge tournament. As usual, I'll show you how to get in. So when in Funbridge, what you want to do is click get started slash practice down to exclusive tournaments and then click uh, view all tournaments and look for Bridgefield or Pete Hollands and it should pop up. Taking out the top spot is Nigel Cooper plus 35. The RB and Cheap Cheap plus 31. Fourth spot is New Seeker 62. Then Lowland Boy and Who Dealt This Rubbish plus 29. So well done to all of you. Let's jump in and see what we can do. Uh, so here we've got 15 points and I've got a hand that could maybe overcall two clubs, but whenever I've got a hand with a five card minor and also a hand that fits into a takeout double, if my suit's a minor, I prefer the uh, takeout double. And if my suit's a major, I'd prefer to bid it. So here I prefer the takeout double. Partner bid two diamonds, which could be zero points. We've got a fit, so I'll just raise that. Um, and that's where we end. Partner's got a good hand. The opponents have a nine card spade fit. Uh, West righty here didn't do any bidding. Lefty bid a spade and two hearts. I'll have most of the points. Uh, we have a club loser, spade and a diamond. I have to be wary of the tenor clubs as well. So spade lead. Uh, well, I'll cover that. And do they get a rough? With the ace of diamonds. Okay. So I have to be wary of the tenor diamonds. Uh... There's no way that's getting roughed. And uh, King of Diamonds should be a claimer. Beast will show out, but I'll be able to finesse the uh, Ten of Diamonds. He just wants me to get rid of the Trumps. And uh, we've got the rest. Hey, seven, four. Wow. Oh, close to over roughing that spade. <laughs> Plus three imps. Nice. Andy start. Whoa, 26 points. All right. So here we want to open two clubs and then probably three no trumps. Or wants it to be four no trumps. So we do Kokish. Two no trumps, what's that? So two no trumps is at least 23 points. Three no is 24, 25. Okay, so it wants me to bid two no and then bid again. Uh, transfer to hearts. <laughs> you serious? And my partner's got to, oh my, whatever. It's just terrible. So I'm just going to lose two tricks. So like maybe I pick up for people that are in slam going down. Uh, maybe I can sneak one club through. No. Like if they ducked a club. Um, so I can discard one diamond on a spade to, I need to just sneak one diamond through. Hey, we did it. We got that extra trick. Okay. Minus three imps. That's all you lose for that. Oh, that's like... That setup is just so terrible. Like, what am I meant to do? That's... That kind of stuff just annoys me when that happens. Uh, right. Club. Um... All right, so I just got a bit of spade. I'm just trying to get the uh, rest of that out of out of my head. 18, 19, four card spades, balanced hand. Uh, four spades should be better. 
We got like two doubletons. Right. Uh, planning from the north hand might be easier, but either could work. Looks like we've got two spade losers and two heart losers on that. Um, I can maybe trump two of the hearts, or maybe I could set up the diamonds. We've got uh, six diamonds, so they could be 3-3. Three, three. We'll uh, just start finessing. Uh, entries to it's not clear which hand I, I probably want entries to I don't want to do uh, I think entries to the south hand are probably better I'm trying to work out if I can draw a second round of trumps now Uh, I, um, yeah, let, let's draw a second round of trumps. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Um, when they don't take, like my main fear here was that they took the ace of spades and just played another spade. They didn't do that. So I've just got all but one of the tricks. And, uh, again, cause there's a trump out, they don't accept the claim. <laughs> it's like these little things that are just annoying me uh, based on like that previous board where um... like, yeah. <sighs> hmm. My beer card's high, but I can't do it. <laughs> All right, that, that'll get the final one. So 11 tricks, plus two. All right, 20 points, triple four one, not gonna open two clubs. Uh, three suited hands are super awkward to bid it in that anyway. Uh, two spades is... Strong, okay. Three spades, forcing. We have any chance of slam? King of spades, king queen of clubs. Uh, I bid four clubs. There's a cubid. Probably overbidding my hand a bit, but uh, yeah. Yeah, partners just got garbage. I would have thought that that after the game force, they would just jump to four spades with like a minimum hand. So that that's why I was vaguely even considering it here. Uh, here, like I thought maybe they were showing like 11 points sort of thing. Um, so I got two club losers on the lead. I have a heart loser and a spade loser and a diamond loser. I might be able to trump some clubs. I might be able to finesse a spade and I can set up the hearts. Looks like the queen of clubs is in the west hand. So we'll uh, lead a heart up. Okay. Okay, so I can still take a roughing finesse in uh, clubs because west has the queen. Um, so best just to play it safe just go ace of spades spade try and get rid of spades knowing that I can take that roughing finesse not suffering a trump promotion I think that's probably the best way about it glad to see the king's offside Uh, I don't even need the roughing finesse now, so. Yep, 
So there's the queen. So pretty much everything would work. If I did play a club, uh, so I was more worried about West having four clubs, but if West had four clubs, and let's say I played a club, queen, rough, that one, losing spade finesse, and then the fourth club coming back, it would uh, be pretty awkward. So a bunch of people going down in that. Uh, so 10 imps, nice handy swing, We're up to plus 12. Moving on to board number five. Okay, so when you've got the opponent's suit, you just want to pass. There's really nothing too much about it. And we're defending two spades. Uh, so 12 points there. Right. So it looks like spades are six, or maybe even five, three, three, two, or six, two, two, three. That means he's got a flat 12 count. Um, I think I want to see if I can get a club rough. So I'll just take that and then just shift to a heart. Hopefully partner had the ace. Okay. I, so West had three clubs. They also had three diamonds. Uh, so they've got at most two hearts. We'll just continue there. Okay, their heart went. Uh, so I've got nothing but spades left. So I could give them a rough and discard at this stage. Um, might have been better to take the king of hearts and then play the diamond. But uh, if they had six spades, I wanted to just get the sort of trump promotion sort of thing going on there. Uh, if my partner's got, my partner has three spades, so I don't see any need to uh, continue the diamond. If my partner had two spades, playing another diamond would have been good. In case my partner had queen, jack, did I miscount? At three. Oh, my partner trumped a, a diamond. I did miscount. I was thinking if my partner had queen, jack, doubleton, spade, um, I would have needed to continue a diamond. So the diamond was the uh, better play there. But uh, plus two imps. So we're at plus 14, so going along all right. Uh, flat 10 count. Pass. I can't remember like the last time I saw it, like a two club opening get passed and now it's happened twice in eight boards. I swear that when I bid 2-0, it said like 23 plus. I guess my setup's different to theirs, maybe. And I've even got two points. Uh, right, so 22 and 2 is 24, 16 missing. We've got 10, so my partner's got 6. 5 or 6 points. I'm just hoping they don't really have an entry there. Uh, is it worthwhile ducking this one? Don't see why. My seven's not quite big enough. And they make two. Flat board. Pretty much everyone did the same. All right, 15 high card points, so one no. Okay, 15 opposite seven. We've got a spade lead. The fact that we're missing ace, jack, nine makes the sort of like seven and eight of spades a bit more interesting. We've got two heart winners and a diamond, and we want to build tricks in clubs. But entries are a bit limited. 
It's going to start with a low spade. And great, we've got two spade tricks. We've got a guaranteed other stopper. Um, I don't think I'll be able to, like, I'd want to play like a hard up and then like a club down. But is that a real thing? Um, so let's say I play a heart to the king and a club to the king. Uh, like, it's okay. Probably worthwhile doing. Jack. Still missing the queen. Alright. So they didn't hold up. Spades a 4-3. Alright, so they're going to get their club. So let's just uh, duck that. And uh, we'll ditch a diamond here. And we'll run our clubs. I'm just going to throw hearts away. Um, my nine of hearts is equally good, but they don't might not know what's going on. Make it look like, hey, diamonds might be useful. And uh, we'll just take our ace of diamonds. So a pretty uh, cruisy plus one. And we got a nymph for it. Plus 15, final board. What have we got in store? Beautiful 16 count, seven card suit. So one club. And I just want to bid three clubs here, showing a bit stronger. And now we can bid three spades. And what I've done is if I had four spades, I would have supported on my second bid. So here I'm showing exactly three. Um, and that is enough. Partner's got a really good hand, but we're off the first two hearts and the king of spades. Uh, so we've also got a diamond loser, but that can go on the club. Looks like we want to finesse the spade. It's worth noting everyone's a past hand. And Easter's shown up with ace, king of hearts, so there's not too much room for them to have much else. We'll just win the king and uh, queen of spades. There's the 10, so we're all good. Let's pay to the jack. And there we have it. Probably pretty flat, uh, that final one, but uh, pretty solid tournament. Uh, shame about partner passing three hearts. I, I, I don't know that my, the system had a way to show a 26 balanced hand. But finish with plus three. Let's just double check. Um, Let's just see uh, what the description was. So game, game forcing bid. Right. Partner cannot pass until game is reached. Okay. Uh, we can't. At least 23 points, not 22, 23. Partner cannot pass when his or her next turn to bid. Three diamonds. At least 23 points. Forcing bid. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah, uh, that was this week's uh, Funbridge tournament. Um, pretty solid all, all up. Uh, pretty happy with uh, what I did. And finished with uh, plus 18. Um, as usual, big shout out to all my uh, Patreon supporters. Uh, so if you like what I do and want to support me, consider checking that out. And another really great way to help me out is just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It all helps. So thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time. No.